2019, Magpie Dance began the project eMotion when dance and technology collide. As part of the eMotion project, various groups worked with Katie Dale Everett Dance to explore how people connect with each other both in the virtual and the real world. My name's Katie Deverett and I am the artistic director and choreographer of Katie Deverett Dance. We've been in the studio creating and researching a new work called EMPA. Um, it combines virtual reality, live camera feeds and the body to uh, explore what it means to relate to another person. At the moment, EMPA is a participatory work for two people where they go through a kind of series of tasks together and the aim is to see if we can build a connection between two strangers that have never met. Obviously, we're all different, they're going to experience the piece differently, but we hope that by doing it together, they'll come out with a sense of connection with this stranger, um, maybe a new way of thinking or realisation or even you know, a new relationship to talk after and get to know each other. I really wanted to make EMPA because I'm really fascinated by what it means to be human and particularly uh, how we're connecting with each other because I feel we live in a world uh, which is becoming increasingly unconnected and I want to be part of the movement that brings us back together. I'm also really interested in the technological sector, um, which is only growing, and the implications that has on human connection and yeah, how we're going to develop as a species. I've discovered these amazing things called Z Minis, which I'd never heard of before, which allow you to transmit what you're seeing through two lenses into VR, which is a really interesting way of incorporating the kind of physical world into the virtual world. It's nice to work with technology so um, prominently rather than it being on the outskirts of a dance performance, it's totally embedded in the work. Well this R&D has been um, a big learning curve and uh, for me it's my first work developing some kind of technology to go with alongside dance or to I guess investigate the human or the body. I think it's a really different approach to VR. Um, it's not kind of game-based, which is probably what most people are used to. It's using technology to explore humanity, um, which I think is really interesting. We started by introducing the equipment and how an audience member might put it on and how we'd assist them as the dancer in the piece. We'd also tried out and discussed how we might approach the audience member and dance with them, allow them to create a nice safe space so that they might feel comfortable to move. The technology in this particular work means that I have to be incredibly close to the performance member, so it's a really intimate performance. However, a lot of the time the audience member can't see my body. So I've also had to take on a slightly different role as a performer, and there's lots of supporting the audience member, which has been a really interesting thing to play with and discover in relation to the other performers, and I will discover in relation to the audience members. We've explored swapping perspectives, we've explored being in virtual worlds, and we've also this week started to phrase things together to make a sort of hour-long version of what the work might look like. I've always had a great team, but this one's just been fantastic. We've really pulled together, everyone's, I think, been challenged, which is something that I have always strived for, but I think it, this is the first piece that has really given everyone in the team space to really grow and learn, and that's been a really amazing opportunity. So what I'm looking forward to is um, seeing how EMPA develops next and how it changes depending on the groups and people that we have come in and how we have to make those changes ourselves. In the R&D we were very lucky to have two people uh, who were complete strangers come in and try EMPA and it was beautiful at some moments definitely laughable at others and the feedback really suggested a sense of connection between these people that had never met. We also had a small watching audience which um, was never my intention during these two weeks of R&D to think about that but they really really got something out of seeing it and really enjoyed it so now my question is should we make Emper with an audience without or two different versions. So I'm really looking forward to more people coming and testing, getting involved and seeing what happens next. Thank you.
The next step as well for me is to now think a bit more about the overall vision of EMPA. So who's it for, where it might sit, um, the context. So I'm really, yeah, looking forward to that step. EMPA is supported by Studio Wayne McGregor. I was fortunate enough to be picked for their uh, Quest Lab scheme in the first cohort. And as part of that, they've given the company a residency space mentoring and um, support from their fantastic team, so thank you very much. Uh, we're also delighted that Arts Council England National Lottery Funding continues to support Katie Everett Dance and to support EMPA. In autumn 2019, Run of Magpie Dance's youth groups worked with Katie Dale Everett Dance to explore the themes and use of technology in Empire. 